Hello, my name's Paul and I'm a bit of a techie person. I like my gadgets and I just wanted to try and explain a few of the technologies to those people out there that might be interested. Um, uh, this particular session is regards to glasses, for want of a better word, headsets. Um, and I wanted to explain the differences between the three technologies that, um, that really the mainstream ones. And I'll start off with what I think most people will recognize these things. This is a VR headset. You place it on your head. It's kind of impractical. You're not going to be walking around the streets with it. And you'll get a 360 degree virtual reality. So in other words, it can be um, space or under the sea or whatever, uh, or games. Um, and you typically use these things and controllers and they track you and you can move around. Um, in addition, that particular one, which is a Pico, I've also got a, a Quest 3, um, R, VR and MR. The VR, virtual reality, we all know about now. Um, mixed reality is what the MR stands for. And that means that it can overlay the real world into the virtual world and vice versa. So, for example, one of the first games I played on that headset, uh, basically there's ghouls running around and bursting through the doors, but it's not the doors on the virtual headset, it's the doors in my house. They're crashing through my window. Um, and I played a, dun a, a Dragons and Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons even game, um, and it, it put all the pieces and the other bits and pieces on my dining room table. Um, so you interact with it. Um, and you can also pick these things up in virtual reality. And in fact, um, most of the headsets now, you don't even need those controllers. They will do the hand tracking as well. And it's 360 degrees. So most of the people will have known about that technology if they haven't already used it. And then there's two other technologies um, which I want to introduce you to. Um, these are the uh, X-Real uh, glasses and they are AR that is augmented reality. Um, so you put them on, they're not quite as impractical as the uh, VR headsets. Uh, you can actually take the, the cover off. This is just to keep the light from coming in. And these um, will project screen onto the glasses. So you're gonna see effectively a 200 inch screen in front of you. Uh, in addition, the augmented bit, rather than just having like a cinema screen in front of you, is that it can put up virtual screens. Um, so for example, oh, by the way, it's compact because it doesn't have anything in it with regards to the technology. You have to plug that thing in to something like a phone or a tablet in order for it to do its business. Um, it will allow you um, to do sort of thing. That, I don't know if anyone saw the film um, Minority Report, but basically you can pick up a screen place it over there, pick up another screen, place it over there. So it's like having uh, multiple screens that you can access and do things with. Um, and you technically, for example, I connect my phone to that. Your phone then turns into the laser pointer. Think of it like the handset on the VR headset. So you literally point at the windows, drag them to, for example, dragging the thing forward will make the screen bigger and so forth and so forth. So um, AR is very good. Um, and you could potentially, I mean, for example, there are now laptops out there that don't have screens. They actually have a pair of AR uh, glasses that you plug into it. And the last technology, and potentially for me, the most exciting, are these things. These are Ray-Bans, and they look exactly like the standard Ray-Bans, uh, because that's practically what they are. Except these Ray-Bans are uh, AI, artificial intelligence glasses. And what they have, for, the starters at the basic level they have four speakers just around the ears the point straight into your ears very good sound all things considered for the size of the thing they have five microphones and much more importantly they have a hd camera in the left hand side of the device um, and these are different because with these those bits of technology can combine with artificial intelligence. Again, they're not got that artificial intelligence in the glasses. You physically have to connect it using Bluetooth 
to your phone or Wi-Fi if you want updates and so forth. But what you can do is you can ask it questions and you can ask it questions about things that you can see. So, for example, if you're looking, I don't know, say you're um, in Germany and you see a road sign and uh, you can ask it what that road sign says. Or if you're looking at the Italian menu, you can ask it to uh, translate it. You can also do things like um, looking at a plant and saying, what's that plant? What's that breed of dog? What's that cat? And all the basic things. Think of it very similar to having Google and Alexa and artificial intelligence all thrown into a pair of glasses that don't look out of place. I think you would agree. I could walk down the streets. No one would necessarily know. Incidentally, there are some privacy mm. things built in. Thank you, Alexa. Uh, there are some privacy things built into the glasses. So, for example, if I take a picture, which you can either do using the button or simply by saying the wait word, which for this is meta. So if I said, hey, meta, You're welcome. take a photo, it will take a photograph from here. Otherwise, you push the button and hopefully you'll see that you get the picture. Now, that picture is stored into the glasses, 32 megabytes of storage in these particular ones. Incidentally, they do different styles, different lenses. You can also get uh, prescription lenses for it. These are all uh, available from a variety of places, but obviously from Ray-Ban. Um, once you've actually got these things on, you literally just connect it to your mobile phone. And your mobile phone does all the work. And of course, that 32 gig of storage isn't going to last forever. So when you take a photo, it will connect it to your phone. The other thing I absolutely love with these is this little glass case. So it's a standard looking Ray-Ban glass case, but um, these glasses will have a battery in. That battery will last between four and six hours on average, depending on what you do. But if you notice, there's a light. So these case, this case actually doubles up as a, a power charger for it. 36 hours apparently for, from there. So you can obviously go um, out and about, safe and sound and the fact that you're not gonna run out of juice. Um, takes about half an hour to give 50% charge on the glasses. So pretty reasonable and easy to use. So that's really a crash course in the, the technologies that I'm currently enjoying. Um, and um, they range in price, obviously. These, by the way, are about £300. The augmented reality glasses, a little bit more, maybe 400 450 depending on what you go for. And the VR headsets are around that sort of price. So, you know, you can spend a lot more. But generally speaking, if you're looking at around about a £500 budget, pretty much anything I've shown you, you should be able to get for it. That's it. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously, feel free to post them on the Facebook page um or my youtube page and thanks for watching and enjoy your technology it's there for you